Good morning. It's half past two in the morning and I'm at Stansted Airport and I'm off for a city break to Valencia. I've arrived here in the centre of Valencia. A two hour flight on louder air from Stansted and it arrived on time. Absolutely brilliant. Then caught the metro down to Sativa. 20 minutes, it's all it took to get into the centre of the city. And only five euros 80 for a single ticket. And the sun is shining. Forecast is 27 degrees. It's rather nice, lovely. Beat Stansted weather any time. Temperature yesterday was about half what it is here. It's lovely. <laughs> Must go away more often. I do like my warmth and my sunshine. <laughs> but this is the second time that I've been to Spain. I came here to Spain on a family holiday to visit Mallorca back in 1972. So it's probably about time that I uh, came to Spain again. And Valencia has always been high on my list of places to visit and in this video I'm going to take a little walk through the historic center of the city and down to the Turia the former riverbed it's now a delightful park and on down to my Airbnb accommodation for the next few days but I've arrived in this delightful little square La Plaza Adjudement I think that's how they call it here in Spanish <laughs> I don't speak any Spanish I'm gonna struggle <laughs> I just hope people speak English. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're going to find some history and some of the famous landmarks that are here in the city. And we found some history already. The former post office. It's the main post office and telegraphed office. And it's more formally uh, El Plazo de Comunicaciones. It was completed in 1922. And the architect, Miguel Angel, Navarro Perez. That's a mouthful of a name, isn't it? But look at the architecture on the front. It is fantastic. I do love seeing buildings like that. Absolutely wonderful. There's some fantastic buildings here in the square. So I'll leave you with a few pictures of some of the buildings and we'll find some more history to show you. Pedestrianised, and most of the cars seem to be electric around here. I can't hear any traffic noise. Is this the sound of the future? Uh, I'm torn on electric vehicles, but in city centres, they are absolutely brilliant. I can't hear any traffic. It's yeah, it's nice. Normally, when I film in city centres, all I hear is traffic. But it's so off-putting, it's so... it's horrible. <laughs> but this is just delightful here. There's a lovely fountain and a statue behind me as well. And this one's to Francisco de Vinatea. And he was a knight from the Kingdom of Valencia. And he died in 1333. And he's famous, of course, for standing up to the king. Alfonso the fourth of Aragon in demanding the rights to the, of the citizens of the city. There we go. So even as far back as 13, 1330s, we have somebody fighting for human rights. Absolutely brilliant. There's a fantastic statue of him 
in this little uh, little square. It's absolutely beautiful here. Palm trees and also some others as well. I think this is a, 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 a hibiscus behind me. If I'm wrong, then leave a comment please in the comment section below and let me know. But absolutely beautiful here, it really is. Well worth getting out of bed at uh, midnight <laughs> to fly down here. <laughs> Oh, these early starts, <laughs> they are worth it though, they are worth it. Absolutely brilliant. And some decorative lamp posts as well, uh, all around the square. Did have a look at them, see if any dates on them. They look quite old, but they might be quite modern. There's only a little plaque on the side indicating where they were made, but really nice to see. Pedestrian square and no traffic. I think, uh, I think Valencia is going to throw up quite a few surprises in the next few days, so hopefully we'll see what other delights the city can offer. further down and I found another delightful little square and some gardens absolutely beautiful here there's a little sign on the left hand side as I came in and it says Gossos no does that mean no goss is allowed in this park or does that mean something to do with no dogs <laughs> I wish I knew wish I spoke a little Spanish I might want to translate it I did look on Google Translate and it didn't come up with anything so if you happen to know what Gossos No means, then please leave a comment in the comment section below. I hate to think I've come all this way and I'm not allowed in these gardens. <laughs> oh dear, that's silly isn't it? There must be no dogs I think, judging by the sign. But there's a little fountain here and a statue of Poseidon. I haven't seen a statue of Poseidon since I was in Bologna last year. And is these gardens are absolutely beautiful. Lovely trees around, flower beds, and the noise of the traffic. It was nicer up at the other square. They had electric vehicles up here. They got ones with petrol engines down here. <laughs> Getting a bit noisy. <laughs> but it's lovely, it really is. This is why I come away to walk in places like this and, uh, and see interesting signs and fountains, absolutely brilliant. And there's a statue here as well. This is quite remarkable, this one. It's absolutely fantastic. James, James I of Aragon, the conqueror of Valencia in 1238, and the founder of the kingdom of Valencia. And what a fantastic statue up on his horse. I haven't seen a statue like that since the statue of John of Aviz in Lisbon last year really is beautiful and surrounded by gardens as well absolutely ah, just just beautiful here it really is and up ahead here there's an incredible tree I haven't had a tree with a tree trunk like this for a very long while this must be hundreds of years old just just amazing that trees like that have survived in an urban environment really is uh, really is lovely it really is I keep saying lovely but it is it's beautiful here but now let's walk on and see what else I can discover here in Valencia <laughs> Desvaneciendo Siempre otro despedir A veces más lento Demasiado rápido para mí Siempre tan fuerte What a delightful little garden that was! I'm seeing the, uh, the statue of James on his horse I do like seeing statues like that. It's really nice to see. And that tree, 
Well, that was quite something. And in the square next to it, there's three more trees. And they're absolutely just, the tree trunks on these are just amazing. There's a plaque on one of them, which actually says that it's a native species to Australia. So I'm gonna try and find a little more information and uh, put it on the screen. Because it really is uh, uh, quite interesting to see trees like that. You know, we get some impressive oak trees in England, but nothing like this. They must be several hundred years old, maybe even older. Mighty oaks can grow to 800 to 1,000 years. So maybe these have a, a longevity like that. There's a statue just next to this one. And it's rather nice. It's to Antonio Munoz de Grain. He was born in Valencia on the 18th of November, 1840, and died in Malaga on the 12th of October, 1924. And he was a painter of landscapes. Apparently, from the research I've just, uh, just done, he was uh, very revered here in Spain for his work. Absolutely lovely to see that. And also these trees as well. Absolutely lovely. Valencia is throwing up for huge surprises, it really is. I never expected to see trees like that. Well now, let's just walk across the road because there's a, another fantastic arch. And I do like seeing archways on my travels. So I'm really looking forward to seeing this one. It's quite an impressive archway. It's actually a war memorial. It commemorates all those who fell during the, uh, the Spanish War of 1936 to 1939. And it was built on the site of the former Porta de la Mer, or Sea Gate. And this was part of the defensive structure of Valencia, the walls uh, of the old city. And it was pulled down back in 1868. And they built this really nice monument in its place. It's quite nice to see, and it represents a gateway. It also is a monument to the fallen as well. It's really rather nice. But I walked just a little way further down the road to the Churia. This is the old riverbed. The river that used to run around the city of Valencia. It got diverted some years ago. And now they've turned it this most fantastic gardens. Now I'm going to feature this in another video, so because there's just so much of it here to see. I'm going to take a walk through and, and see what I can discover. But I want to head to the gardens on the other side of this bridge and, uh, and end the video there. It's quite close to my uh, Airbnb, so uh, I've had a long day today. <laughs> and the noise of the traffic has picked up as well. It's lovely and peaceful. Up in the other square by the fountain this morning. All I could hear was electric cars. Absolute bliss. But back to traffic again. I guess traffic is going to stay as long as there's petrol being produced. But uh, let's just head across the bridge and into the gardens. such an enjoyable day today just walking through the city of Valencia just looking at the architecture and the sites and of course discovering those great gardens as well and those statues what a superb day but I've made it to the uh, military museum it's actually closed at the moment but uh, there's still a couple of items on display so this is where I'm going to end the video outside the museum thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow my journey because there's plenty more to come in this series. I'll leave with a few photographs of the uh, displays outside the museum. And we'll see you tomorrow for another day here in Valencia.